Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here today to have a go at making this gorgeous um, die cut and if you can see, look how gorgeous she actually is. Now this is a die um, that I bought yesterday actually and it's one that I've been wanting to try for ages so I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's have a a look at what we've got inside the pack now I really do not like these packs to be honest with you because it means that I have to find another way of storing um, this and I don't want to cut any of the oh, paper because I know that there are oh, we, here we go right let's get all this out of here so what do we get in the pack? So we get some sheets of paper. Oh, come out. Oh, be careful not to cut yourself. Now, oh, get this. I might have to just come in here and cut this a bit more to get in it. Oh, we're not very good at this, are we? Right, let's get this out. Oh. She says, right, we're going to have to go in and cut down the side here. Once we get in here, bear with me, everyone. We will get in. Okay, we're in now, I think. So, oh, she says, no, we're not, I'm still not in. Made a right mess of getting into this um, pack, didn't I? Okay, we are really nearly in here now. Okay, we're in there. So... <laughs> This is what we have. We have these pieces. Let's take all these bits off here. And we've also got a magnetic shim there to store your dies on. must have been an easier way to get in there. I made that very difficult. Okay, so these are the pieces that we have. Let's just pop that to one side. Um, what I want to do is, you also have this image there, which I'm going to cut out so that I can keep that image with the, um, with the dies. So we'll keep that because we want to keep that with our dies so that we know. I mean, obviously we can use other cardstock. We don't just have to use the gorgeous. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Now, the cardstock that comes with it are four of each. So you will also need then some black and some um, white or skin tone, I presume, um, cardstock. Now I have seen um, another tutorial on how to make these gorgeous girls, so I do have an idea. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pause it and get some black um, cardstock and also some um, white, and I'll be straight back. Right, okay, so I have some, um, I think this is Blushing Bride, this is the Stampin' Up Blushing Bride, and I have some black cardstock. So I think what we've got to do first is cut out this main piece. So let's put all these things to one side. I do have my big shot 
here. Um, let me just, if I can put that down properly. And that's the adapter, which we don't need. And we need the magnetic platform, which is here. Oops, so, we have our magnetic platform and we have our black, no, not our black, we're going to be using the blushing bride. We're just going to cut out the base and let's see. Now I'm doing this with you, so I haven't tested this before as to the order and everything. So it's going to be a learning curve for both of us. So that has cut the little girl out. Now, what is going to be next? Let's have a look. We may as well go ahead and do her hair while I'm here. So we've got the hair here. And obviously, once you know what bits go where, you could cut out your little scraps and run it all through together. Um, I'm doing it this way because I really um, have not done this before, um, this, this particular dies so we will be doing this together now let's have a look we need her dress in this one so i am presuming and what bits do we have left here and why would we need an outline of that hmm. okay let's do her so we need her scarf and her Tights, where's her tights? <clears throat> right, I'm presuming you have to cut out the legs yourself then. So, let's do her scarf and her... Let's do her dress first. And I don't know why it cuts out her whole head, I do not know. going to need a bit for a petticoat actually I didn't realize we would need that and you will need a pokey tool as well so oh, unless you do what I just did so that is her dress oh I see so that's her dress it keeps her arms showing like that and then we have to recut out her head then it's a bit strange let's have a look I don't know if I'm not doing this right then please feel free to leave a comment in the box below because maybe I am just being a bit thick here let's have a look Now, that's very odd because, so that's her face. Then her hair goes on top like that. <clears throat> and what we need to do then is we do need to colour in the eye bit underneath, don't we? So we'll do her scarf. We're getting there. We're getting there, everybody. Um... I'm probably doing it weirdly, so let's get a bit of the scarf. Now, obviously, because you want the stripes going down, make sure that you have your um, scarf dye the right way, I guess. Would it be that way? You could... Um, hmm... I would presume we have to just line that up like. Now, how do you get all of those lines like that? Now, look, on there, that's exactly dark white, dark white, dark white. So, how 
do we line this up? It doesn't quite go, does it? That's a bit odd. I really don't know how you would do that. I don't know. So let's cut one out and see what happens. I've got a feeling that it's not going to look right. Um, let's do it at an angle. Oh, that looks a bit better, maybe. I'm not sure. Right, okay. We will figure this out. A lot of this is trial and error. more like a tie well that's okay it's okay everyone we will stick that down in a minute and get it all precise um, then we need a petticoat so we would need like a cream and I really do not know oh, they're her shoes so they're her shoes so that's I wondered what that bit was then now this is brilliant, these are brilliant for scrap um, DSP, I mean, oh my gosh, we've all got scrap pieces laying around of DSP that, you know, just, I mean, I keep every single scrap piece of everything, so this would be fantastic, and I'll have to show you um, how many different designs. Now I'm sure that, you know, this there's a way of mastering this probably a bit better than what I'm doing here so there's her oh, look at her little shoes they are so cute like that and then we need a piece for petticoat so let me use let's just use this scrap piece here we will get there It's trial and error. Now, normally I do a practice run with everything beforehand, but I didn't want to open it until I'd shown you all. So um, this is actually my first run through with this die, as you can tell. I'm like, oh, oh, Chanel, what are you doing? Right. There is more pressure when you're on camera, trust me. Um, a little bit. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to mess up. Right, so we can, I think, get rid of the big shop. And let's have a look what we've got here. So, we're going to need a black mark or something. Now, I'm sure, I hope we've done this in the right way. Now, I suppose what you could do, actually, if you wanted to, um, you could, instead of having to cut this out twice, I suppose what you could do is just cut this out um, where are we here like that and then actually just cut around but then you know you're, you're mucking around fussy cutting so let's do it the way that we're supposed to do it so we're going to put that on there like that I think we need to put the petticoat on first so that is my Tombow so <clears throat> let's do this now Make sure we've got this the right way. That's like that. Put this petticoat down. Don't you just love it when you've cut everything out and you're putting it all together? It's my favourite bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to put these little shoesies on. So cute. Oh, they are cute. These little shoes are so cute. Now, I'm going to leave her legs bare. But as you know, with Gorgeous, she normally has um, stockings on. So, um, I don't know whether we'll just leave her plain this time. But we could have done... I'm not too happy with the, um, the stripes on this, to be honest with you. 
Um, so what I'll do, I'll experiment with some others for the, the stocking. So today I'm going to leave her legs bare, okay? But normally, as you know, Gorgeous has stripy, <coughs> excuse me, has stripy um, tights on or socks or stockings or whatever you want to call them. I hope I'm putting this on the right order now. So let's put this on now. And we're just going to line this up and pop this down like so. And then what we need to do, and I'm going to just find a black I've only got a black, have I got another black marker somewhere? Let me see, I've got one in here. Um, is that black? Let me just test this out first. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're just going to draw eyes behind, so we're just going to colour this in black. I'm presuming that's roughly where her eyes are. Oh, I've missed it totally. You might need a darker black or to just cut out a another piece of black cardstock for the back of that. Did we still miss? <laughs> we did, didn't we? You know what I'm going to do? I think it might be better to just... Do a bit of black cardstock behind there so that it's a solid black. Better on that. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's just do a little strip across the eyes. just around that because I don't know if the marker is black enough there you go um, you can get the um, you know I have seen some stamps for faces so let's just put this on here I have probably made this look more hard work than it actually was so that's it's probably an easier way of doing it so that's on like that and then we have her scarf Like so. And then we have her hair. Now you might want to go round with a mark around the edge. We'll have a look in a minute just so that you've got um I can't see any of the edges if you know what I mean. But it might be okay. Oh, look, isn't she just adorable? I absolutely love her. Now, you might want to go around um, with a black. Let's just get my black marker and just go around the edge here. Or you could sponge it, whatever you want to do. In fact, I think I'll probably sponge it because I think that would probably be a bit easier. But there you have, look at her. She is just beautiful. And like I said, you know, you can leave her legs plain or you could put the stripy stockings. Um, now, that wasn't too bad, was it? I kind of made it look a bit harder than what it probably was. But like I said, I'd not done a, a dry run with these um, dyes until just now. So you had seen this um, being done. Now these are all the dies. 
they are just lovely i mean look at that you could um, put her on a card you could um, make her into a little tag oh gosh so many um, possibilities let me move that out of the way so you can see her properly so many possibilities to use her and i do have another one to try out which is let me get it here Um, I also have this one to try out, so I'll be doing this one later on as well, but I probably won't do a video. I might do a video for it and see. Um, it's probably going to be pretty much the same, um, but I will make a few of these and I will do another video to show you what they look like. But, you know, just adorable for card toppers. Oh, just, I don't know, I've got so many ideas going through my head now. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, just showing you how to use the Santora um, large dies and like I said you can use your scrap pieces of DSP just a, a fantastic way of being able to use them up and just so cute so thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and I shall see you all very soon take care bye bye